Hello everyone, I'm El Movie Master, and today I'm going to continue showing you guys my action DVD and Blu-ray collection. We last left off with this section right here. Here I have Pompeii, recently acquired this one, haven't seen it yet. If anybody knows about the movie, please let me know. Fury with Brad Pitt, heard a lot of good stuff about this movie, still haven't seen it. Glory. Gone in 60 Seconds, the original film. Deadline Auto Theft, and Gone in 60 Seconds 2. The sequel was never finished. Um, it's just a composite of different scenes that were finished with the late actor. He died while making the second one. It's still really good to see what um, they finished. Sadly, the movie was never completed. I also have the remake with Angelina Jolie and Nicolas Cage. Gorgeous with Jackie Chan. Gotcha. Haven't seen this one yet. Great Escape. I recently got this as an upgrade of my old DVD. And I rarely have ever upgraded movies, but the previous one I had was not an anamorphic uh, widescreen, so I ended up getting on Blu-ray. The Green Berets. El Gringo. Green Zone. A lot of people don't like this movie. I enjoyed it. It's from the same director of the last two Bourne films, Bourne Supremacy and Bourne Ultimatum. His name is Paul Greengrass. He did a pretty good job with this movie. The Grey with Liam Neeson. Grindhouse. Hannibal. Not to be confused with the Hannibal Lecter movie, this is a sword and sandal film from the 60s. And not a very good one. You can tell it's a very low budget film, but it's still enjoyable. Half Past Dead, Hard Boiled, great film from John Woo, Hana, also an underrated movie, Haywire, I like this movie also, it's from Steven Soderbergh, if you've never seen it, please check it out, it's really really good. The Terrible Hercules, don't ask me why I own this. I also have the, um, the sequel, but I let someone borrow it recently. Hero, Heart of Dragon, Hidden Assassin. Hidalgo, Homefront, The Hit List, Hostage, The Hallcroft Covenant, The Hunted. This is a really good movie. It's with Christopher Lambert. Um, he um, is being hunted by a ninja. And it's a really, in my opinion, really accurate film because it's the only film where you see someone who has no experience with a samurai sword fighting someone who does have experience. And it's very realistic fight scene. It's one of the last fight scenes in the, in the film. Do check it out. It's very, very good. The Hunted with Benicio del Toro and Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, still haven't seen this one. Hitman. That's eh, okay. Let's go over here. Here we have Firewalker with Chuck Norris. This is a knockoff of Indiana Jones from Canon. Hero and Terror. This is an okay movie with Chuck Norris. It's more of a thriller than it is an action film. Immortals, which um, I enjoy just as much as 300. It's from the same producers. In Bruges, I recently got... I got this actually a while ago, and I didn't get that recently. I got it a while ago, but I still haven't checked it out. I will. Uh, Invasion USA, my favorite Chuck Norris movie. It's pretty much Chuck Norris against... Uh, Russian army invading. Really good movie. Intent to Kill with Tracy Lords. The International. Into the Blue. Into the Blue 2. Iron Monkey. Iron Clad. In Hell. Uh, this is actually a good movie with Van Damme. It's a straight to video one, but it's really good. Van Damme is sent to prison in Russia and he is forced to fight for uh, the other people's entertainment where they start betting against the fighters. It's really good. Definitely recommend it. Into the Sun. Ipmon, The Legend is Born. Ipmon. Ipmon 2. And Ipmon, The Final Fight. Still haven't seen The Final Fight. The Italian Job. Jack Ryan 3-pack brings The Hunt for Red October. Patriot Games. Clear and Present Danger. The Sum of All Fears. Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruits, Jackie Chan's The 36 Crazy Fists, 
Jackie Chan's First Strike, Jack Reacher, Jane Doe. This is a Miramax multi-feature of Jackie Chan movies. Brings Operation Condor, Operation Condor 2, which was actually filmed before this one, but they decided to release it as a sequel. Project A, Project A2, Jason and the Argonauts, Casino Royale, which is the original 54 version with Barry Nelson. And over here I have all the James Bond movies. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you can you know, get an idea of the Bond movies I have. I have all of them. Uh, here I have Wind Talkers, Shaolin. This is a Van Damme pack. Brings Universal Soldier, The Return, Knock Off, Hard Corps, Second in Command. Another Van Damme pack, Hard Target, Lionheart, The Quest, and Sudden Death. Derailed in Hell and Wake of Death. Cyborg Death Warrant Double Impact. This is a little Jet Li collection. Jet Li the Master. Um, over here I have Born to the Fence. Uh, it, this is supposed to be Born to the Fence. I don't know why they put Born to the Fence. But yeah. Um, here we have. Jet Li, The Legend of the Swordsman. Jet Li, The Defender, which is also known as the Bodyguard from Beijing. Jet Li's The Enforcer. Jet Li, The Legend. Uh, Jet Li, The Legend 2. Uh, Jet Li, Twin Warriors, which is also known as Tai Chi Master. K19. I know that you can get all these Jet Li movies in a better pack, which is uh, the one from Dragon Dynasty, but I rarely have ever double dip on my movies. I got this a long time ago, and I'm not in the mood to rebuy them. K19, A Widowmaker, Kill Zone, The Kingdom, King Arthur, Killer Elites, Kill the Messenger, Kill Switch. This is a crazy Seagal movie where Seagal beats someone at the end with a hammer. Of all things, a hammer. <laughs> the Killing Machine. The Killer. Another great movie from John Woo. If you've never seen it, do check it out. Jackie Chan, The Killer Meteors. And over here is Lethal Weapon. Another Seagal movie, The Keeper. Kiss of the Dragon. My favorite Jackie, uh, Jet Li movie. I was going to say Jackie Chan. King Solomon's Minds. King Solomon's Minds, Kingdom of Heaven, the theatrical cut, Kingdom of Heaven, the extended cut, King Boxer, Knight's Tale, Night of Day, Crawl, Laser Mission, Lone Wolf McQuaid, Lazater, and let's see what we have here. Let me get in a better and more comfortable position. Here I have Scarface, all the way over there is The Last Castle, The Last Warrior, The Last Stand, Last Samurai, Last Man Standing, and Last Boy, Cou last, last Boy Scout, a lot of last. Legacy of Rage with Brandon Lee, Legend of the Fist, great movie with Donnie Yen, Legionnaire, Little Big Soldier, Lucy, Live Wire, Lock Up, The Lone Ranger, Lone Survivor, Lord of War, The Lost Battalion. If you've never seen this movie, check it out because this movie is a um, pretty accurate uh, history of World War One. Lucky Number Eleven. Machete. This one uh, is actually signed by Danny Trejo. I met him at a convention and he signed it for me. I have a picture with him. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, over there. That's me and uh, Danny Trejo. I don't know if you, can, if you guys can see it. So, where did I left off? Machete kills a man apart. The Man from Hong Kong, Man with the Iron Fist, Man with the Iron Fist 2, uh, 
Maximum Conviction, Mercenary for Justice, uh, El Mariachi and Desperado, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, The Marine, Master of the Flying Guillotine, Master with Cracked Fingers. This movie is hilarious. This is with Jackie Chan and he never uh, finished this film, so it was finished with a stunt double and a different director, and the results are disastrous. Check it out just for um, the unintentional um, unintentional humor. And I'm going to be continuing the rest of the collection in a part three, so stay tuned.